All right, so let's go on to validity, <coughs> right? Validity, I saved this one for last since it's, it's, it's the most complicated one. <coughs> so first of all, let's go to about, right? What, what, what is validity? So validity <coughs> is really all about how fair the experiment was. So about how fair the experiment is. And this is really the core of science. So, so an example of, of understanding, you know, how an, ex how an experiment can be more or less fair, you can think about, you know, if you're a drug company and you wanted to, to test if your drug is effective and you give it to two groups of volunteers, um, like a control group, who don't do anything, who don't take it, and then you have like your volunteers. But if your control group is full of like, like people who are very fat and are, and are gonna die, and your volunteer group is like full of like extremely fit people, like they, they don't smoke, they don't do anything that hurts their health. Well, of course it's gonna look like your that, that your drug is doing miracles, right? Because your, your control group, they all die. And then everyone who takes a drug is amazing. But that's because, you, you know, it wasn't a fair experiment. So we, we can apply this idea to the physics, chemistry, and biology that we do as well. The second element, besides just how fair it is, is also the accuracy. So it's a bit of a quirk of uh, HSC, but NESA seems to, NESA, what NESA seems to say is that if it's not accurate, if not accurate, therefore not valid. If you're not accurate, you can't be valid. This seems to be what NASA says. So let's go into assessing our accuracy. Sorry, assessing our validity. So how do we assess our validity? So, again, it all, it all comes down to how fair our experiment was. So for example, we might say, you know, did you control all the variables, right? Did you control all relevant variables? Did you control the variables? Was only one, one variable change at a time? If you change more than one, you don't know what's actually causing the effect, right? And the last one is appropriate, appropriate equipment and setup. And this is the one that really kind of goes into accuracy, right? So for example, <laughs> appropriate equipment might, might be like, you know, are you using a brick to measure length or are you using a ruler, right? And similarly, uh, like basically it, when you discuss this point, you basically can bring up a lot of the points that we measured in accuracy. So for example, you could say, you know, um, it, was, it was a valid experiment because I used um, a light gate, which is very accurate, rather than a ruler, uh, rather than a stopwatch, which and so, it's, so therefore it's highly accurate and highly valid. Okay, let's go on to improvement. So the improvement will kind of illustrate this idea in a bit more depth. Improve, improve validity. <laughs> so. Big one is improving the equipment. Improving the equipment. So again, a large overlap with accuracy. So I would encourage you to watch that video if you haven't. Um, but but you know, it's the stuff like you know using um, digital over analog, and that's because. Um, it makes it more accurate. It's it, it's it's more appropriate equipment and setup, and it's going to improve the validity because you're going to be able to read it more accurately um, using inherently better equipment, as discussed before. And we can also use um, equipment with more decimal places. You can also control more variables, right? So if the the scenario that you're given has a lot of has 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 um 
you know, obviously uncontrolled variables, definitely control those. But um, try and think of, of other ways to control variables as an example. And, and we'll have more examples in the um, sample paper that we'll do next, next video. But, but for example, um, you know, if you polished, you know, if you polished, if you polished, um, say, magnesium to see the rate of reaction, of reaction with HCl, right? Well, you want to you'd want to make sure that that all of the magnesium that that the magnesium strip, right? That, that, that the magnesium strip, all of it was polished evenly. You don't want to polish this part a lot and then not polish the rest, right? And and what you really don't want to do is you don't want to polish different, like, you know, you don't want to polish this one like fully and then not polish this one fully. As an example. But okay. Um, that's about, you know, that's all theoretical. Let's actually go dive into a real example in the next video to see how we can actually apply what we've learned um, for the accuracy, reliability, and validity to a real um, exam-like scenario. See you there.